Hi, this is Jacqueline and I'm back with my next video. So this video is about BioAdvanced Medical. I made a previous video about BioAdvanced that goes through the whole process from beginning to end. So if you wanna go through the patient process of sending in an inquiry and go through the whole thing, you'll wanna check out that video. If you're just here for some tips and tricks and some things to help you on your way, then you'll wanna watch this video. Okay, so number one, as I mentioned in the other video, you will fly into the San Diego airport, but just to give you an idea, it does take about 50 minutes from the time you get into the shuttle to the time that you get to your hotel. You obviously are crossing the border, so you do want to make sure that you bring your passport. I know that seems obvious, but when you're flying into San Diego, you might not think, oh, hey, make sure you bring your passport. You will not need it going into the country, at least I haven't, but you will definitely need it when you come back. So anyway, take into account about 50 minutes from pickup to hotel. Another tip is that you do wanna make sure you read the entire instructional email that they send you. They will give you all of the information that you need, but one thing you do wanna make sure of is that you bring some cash because if you eat at the cafe, which has some yummy food, and I'm gonna show you some pics of the wonderful food there, and they have amazing service as well, and I always enjoy going there, and they treat you, treat you really good. Here's some pics. So when you go to that cafe though, they will take a credit card for the food, but they only take cash for tips. So if you wanna tip your server, if you wanna tip the shuttle people, you do wanna have some cash on hand. You will not need pesos. I have never needed pesos while I've been there. So make sure you have a credit card they accept and some cash. Another item is that the name is not on the building. And I actually didn't even realize that until my husband said, you know that the name BioAdvanced Medical is not on their building. So you do want to be aware of that. You will see the address, 2795, but there's no name. So the easiest way is right across the street is the Easy Cross. That is the shuttle that brings you to and from. Right directly across the street is BioAdvanced Medical. So you'll see the numbers, and then when you go in, there are six floors. BioAdvanced is on floor four, five, and six. They have a spa. They have where they do the IV treatments, and then they have the check-in area and lobby area and their cafe on the top floor. Another thing is that BioAdvance is very transparent about how much it costs to go there. So I'm gonna show you an itemized bill to give you some idea of the different services that they offer and the different costs. So as you can see, there is a breakdown. They will sit with you at your consultation and go through what they recommend for you and they will give you a total. So you will know how much you're going to spend. It will be no surprise at the end. They typically will take a deposit on that first day after the doctor goes over the recommendations for you. Again, you don't have to do everything they say. Obviously, the main things you're gonna wanna do are gonna wanna be the ozone therapy and are gonna wanna be stem cells. They always recommend the detox treatments first. So stem cells will always be at the end of the day. They're never gonna do stem cells first and then detox you. You will always detox first, whether that's ozone, colonic, ionic foot bath, lymphatic drainage massage. So here are some videos of ozone therapy. So first you can see they will take the blood out of your vein, then they put it in the bag, and then they oxygenate it for about five minutes, and then they will put the blood back into your body. Hence, ozone therapy. Here are some other videos of some chelation, vitamins, and then here is a picture of some of the stem cells that they get from the lab. And doing this video, I realized that the lab, I believe, is actually on the third floor because it says GenCell. So there will be a list of hotels on their website that you can stay at. Again, they range in price depending on what you wanna spend and how comfortable you feel. I stayed at the Lucerna K Hotel. It is a boutique hotel, and here are some cool pictures and videos from Lucerna K. So sometimes the drivers will drop you off. So there is a Lucerna and there's Lucerna K. So sometimes they drop you off 
at the wrong side. They've dropped me off at Lucerna before and you do have to walk through their lobby and go over to get to Lucerna K. So just so you know, they are two separate hotels. So the first time I went there, I was trying to check in and they told me that I didn't have my reservation, but it was actually because it's at the K Hotel. The K Hotel is so nice. I have went to Tijuana once by myself and I stayed there. I felt really safe. And they also have a really cool rooftop restaurant for some relaxation. And, um, you know, just if you want to have a, a nice dinner and sit outside, it has a really, really beautiful hotel. And everyone there is so nice. Next is everyone pretty much speaks English. I, I guess I shouldn't use the word everyone, but you're never going to be anywhere where you're going to feel like no one's understanding or you're having trouble communicating. The only way that might happen is if you do go to other places off the property. When you're in BioAdvanced, everyone speaks English. When you're at the hotels, I would say 90% of the staff speaks English. So you're not going to run into any situations where you feel like you're having trouble communicating with anybody. So that's reassuring. I also would recommend if you can travel with a family member or support system that is helpful. Unfortunately, because of just life and because I have kids and I'm busy, I've had to go by myself one time, but I was fine. The shuttle, the people take care of you. They literally pick you up right from the airport, take you to your hotel. You can walk from your hotel to the clinic. You're basically at the clinic all day. You can go back to your hotel. There's restaurants on site so you can eat while you're there. So you don't have to really walk around town or anything if you don't feel comfortable doing that. You do want to make sure that you have your iPad charged or headphones. I mean, there are charging stations there, but it's really nice if you go, depending on what time of year that you go, you can sit outside on their uh, balcony next to the cafe and you can watch your iPad, be on your computer. So you wanna make sure things are charged. Again, there is a lot of downtime. And I don't know if people really expect that, but you may go in and you may check in and you may have to wait an hour for your consultation. And then you may have to wait an hour or so before your first treatment. You will have a host. The host will detail what your schedule will be like for the few days that you're there. So you'll know the next day what time you need to go. Check-ins usually around nine. You can go a little earlier if you'd like. There might be people sort of hovering over, but usually once you check in and get your buzzer, when your buzzer goes off, the host will come and find you. So you really don't need to worry about missing any appointments, but you do want to be on site when it is time for your appointment. You really don't want to have the host trying to track you down. There is Wi-Fi on all three floors of BioAdvanced. So wherever you're at, you will be able to be on your devices without any issues. So just keep that in mind. You can have your stuff with you and on, then also at the hotel, you will have Wi-Fi there as well. Okay, and lastly here, once you are a patient there, they really require much less of you the next time that you go. The first time, it might seem that you have to really cross your T's and dot your I's and you have to be there at a certain time and you have to be there for so many days. But once you're a patient there, you can really request to just come in for one day. Um, my husband flew in, I believe in the evening, went in in the morning, got stem cells, was out by 11, literally was there for just a few hours, went in, had ozone, stem cells, and was out. So you don't really need to go and hang out all day. They do want you to be available all day till about five, but it can be a little inconvenient if you have a flight back. So just letting you know, if you're new, I would just go and expect to be there the whole time, get a feel for it. If you're going back and you only wanna go for one day, usually they'll recommend you at least come for two days, but you can go for one day. You can just request, hey, I've been there X amount of times. I just wanna get stem cells. I already know what I want. This is what I need. This was recommended in the past. I just wanna come in, get my stem cells, and I wanna go. They are open to that, but the very first time you go, you do have to go through the process. Lastly is that they do make you go to the airport so early on the last day. So what's gonna happen is your flight's gonna be at 8 p.m., say. They're gonna make you go five hours early. And they just do it to ensure that you get there on time. They don't want it to be their responsibility that you missed your flight. There are sometimes delays that happen at the border. We were stuck there before for 90 minutes because somebody has a name that's a name on a wanted list. You just never know who you're gonna end up being behind. So they will make you go to the airport really early and it is kind of annoying. I'm the type of person that I like to get to the airport. Like I don't like to have any spare time. I wanna get there, I wanna go through security, 
go to my gate and get on the plane. That will not happen. They will expect you to go early. So if you can, depending on what you fly, I usually fly Southwest. They're very, very easy to change flights. Almost every time I've gone there, I've went up to the desk, hey, can I catch an earlier flight? And I've been able to do it every time. And one time they actually credited me $20, so I didn't have to pay extra. So that is something to consider that you will be at the airport for a lengthy amount of time. And you know, you might not really feel like being in a crowded airport. I know that I really didn't, but anyway, that's the way it is because they just wanna make sure that you don't get stuck at the border and miss your flight. And then obviously that creates another host of problems. Okay, so those are my tips and tricks for traveling to Bio Advanced Medical. It's a lovely facility. They treat you really well there. I have felt comfortable going there every single time. And one last thing is that I did have a friend request a pricing list from another treatment center in the same area, and it was exponentially more expensive. Granted, they wanted to do MRIs. Uh, he's going for uh, an injury, so they wanted to do their own imaging and things like that and blood work, but it was a lot. It came to around $21,000. On average, I have spent, at the most, I spent $6,000, but that's also me doing a bunch of treatments, going for four days, and at the least, I've spent around three. So that gives you a little bit of a rough idea of about how much you're gonna spend. Again, if you just do the ozone, chelation and stem cells, you're probably looking at a couple thousand dollars. So that's what I would expect to spend. Again, the longer you stay, the more you're probably gonna spend because you're gonna spend more money on treatments and your hotel and food, etc. I really recommend going the full time the first time so that you can get the true experience. And then when you go back in the future, you can arrange you know, what works best for you, whether it be one day or two days. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. I know that was a lot of information and I will be back next time. In the meantime, stay well. Please like and subscribe. Hope everyone has an amazing day.